Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F16 Viper video, we'll look at the CB105 Wind Corrected Munition Dispenser or WIC mid. Like the JDM and JSAL, the CB105 is an inertially aided munition or IAM that uses a sensor point of interest or SPI as the aim point. The CB105 is a canister weapon that contains 10 BLU 108 submunitions, and each BLU 108 contains four skeets. They use a sensor to detect and fire an explosively formed penetrator at the top of the target. This is an ideal weapon against armor targets in a 1500 by 500 foot square area. This is a very similar weapon to the CB97 that also uses 10 BLU-108 submunition, but as an IAM it has better standoff capability and you can attack multiple targets in a single pass. Let's get started. Alrighty, so let's take a look at using the CB105 WIC mid. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll come to the air to ground master mode, of course. And here we have the CB105 SMIZ page. Again, we can see we're in air to ground mode. We're in pre-play mode. Of course, we also have the visual mode, which you can take a look at in either the JDAM or JSAL videos. In the inventory page, we, again, we see we have four uh, CB105s, both on uh, Baru 57 smart racks. Uh, coming over, we have fours here as well. Let's go ahead and power these on. And these are already lined up, but if we had done a cold start, we'd have an alignment starting at 10, and then it would gradually count down to zero, and then you have an alignment. Down here at the bottom, we see we have a reversed highlighted three, indicating that the selected station is uh, station three. But we can hit the missile step button, change that to station seven, and we'll come back to three. And here on the left side, we have a single triangle indicating that when we hit the uh, pickle switch, just a single uh, CPU is going to come off the rack. But we can go to uh, tandem with spacing below it. Right now, it's defaulted to 1,000 feet. We could also go to side by side, also with 1,000 feet. But just like with tandem, we can adjust that if we wish. Coming back, we also on the control page have the ability to set your burst altitude, BA. Click on the button, and we can set that as well. back to a single. So in this uh, little mission I have a company of armor and what I've done is I'm going to assign a single 105 to each of those platoons of the company. Coming over let's go ahead and bring up our HSD and what I'm going to do is we have our ASL or azimuth steering line. I'm going to fly to place my flight, flight path marker on the ASL and on the uh, right side of the HUD we can see our dynamic launch zone or DLZ and above it, we have a carrot pointing to the right. And when that hits the uh, top of the DLZ, that means we're in range. And in the data block below, we can see that we're about 31 seconds out from time to maximum range. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, hit the pickle button, drop the uh, first bomb on steer point one, then cycle to steer point two, drop a bomb, cycle to steer point three, drop a bomb, and then finally to steer point four. And this allow us to uh, hit multiple targets on a single pass. And this is one of the most powerful things about this weapon. So now our release queue is coming down the ASL. And once it intersects with the flight path marker, I can start releasing these guys. Okay, so one away, steer point two, one away, steer point three, one away, steer point four, one away, and let's bug out of here. Here we can see the uh, BLUs coming down, shooting back up, ejecting the skeets.
and as you can see, a, a pretty devastating effect. So I hope you enjoyed this little video on the 105, and I will see you next time. Thanks.